OK, expectation of x. Here's the notation, and how we read that is e of x. This is also um, equal to mu. Sometimes the Greek letter mu is used to represent the expectation of x or the mean. So that's what it means. It's just we're working out the average. It's a way to work out the, the mean average from a probability distribution. So say we've got a distribution that looks a little something like this. We have our x values, and then we've got the probability of each one happening. To work out the expected value of x, we do each of the x values times by the probability of it happening, and then add them all up. So we take x1, we times it by its probability p1, x2 times its probability p2, and so on, and then find the sum. So here is our first example. We've got a random variable r, and again it can take any letter. We use the capital letter to represent the variable um, as a whole, and then a, a lowercase letter to represent each instance of the variable. So it has the follow following probability distribution. r can take the values of 0, 1 or 2 with the probabilities underneath them, and we want to find e of r, or the expectation of, that, of r. That means what value would we expect r to take, on average? So, we do 0 times 0 0.1, 1 times 0 0.6, and 2 times 0 0.3, and then add them all together. That comes to 1.2. Okay, second example. We've got a random variable z. It has the probability distribution shown in the table below. We've got some missing values there. So, um, the probability that z is 2 is a, and the probability that z is 4 is b. We're also to told that the expectation of z is 3, and we're going to find out what a and b are. So first of all, we know that those probabilities have to add up to 1. So we have our first equation here. We can simplify that to a plus b equals 0.6. Second, we're told about the expectation, which looks like this. So each value of z times the probability of it happening, add them all together and we get this. Now we're also told that that expectation comes to 3, so we've got our second equation here that simplifies down to this. So we have two equations to solve simultaneously, one from knowing that they add up to 1 and one from knowing the expectation of z was equal to 3. So using substitution, we've just rearranged that, that top one to be b equals 0.6 minus a, so we can substitute it into our second equation down at the bottom we get a equals 0.2 and b equals 0.4.